Hey gang, back with another video for you today. Today we're reviewing a new fragrance, actually two versions of a new fragrance, uh, from a brand called Profumi Fluviali, which means river perfumes, called Laria. So we've got the Extrait de Parfum version here, and Ashley's got the oil version there. We're gonna review this, these two, or just the one. They're both the same scents, just in different versions, as I said. We have uh, two bottles to give away as well. We have a version of it in the Extrait de Parfum, and then we also have the oil version to two subscribers of this channel from the USA, Canada, and the European Union. So please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I had met a perfumer a few years ago, almost a few years ago, by the name of Roberto Dario, and he told me to um, talk to the guys. This is Laria from uh, Profumi Fluviali. This is a green aquatic or aquatic green fragrance and it comes in a 30 ml bottle like this and it's extrait de parfum so it's very very concentrated you don't need a lot of sprays the 30 ml bottle here retails for $140 and then the 30 ml bottle that Ashley's holding it's the oil so it's uh, extrait de parfum oil and it's $165 so very very concentrated fragrances and if you like aquatic fragrances you're gonna love this because you only need a few sprays if that to last you the whole day Mm -hmm. And the oil is so oily and rich, Ooh, yeah. and um, it's, it's it's actually amazing. I'm not the biggest fan of oils because this is already oily on its own, but that is like pure oil. Mm, see, I am a fan of oils and just how they wear. It's really really nice. So, would you wear that after a shower? Oh yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. do you wear it any time of the day? Pretty much, just put it on and. What I really like about this fragrance is that while it starts off aquatic and green, the kumara notes really warm it up, which I think kind of makes it day or night wear. Okay. Yeah. So for notes here, what we have at the top are clary sage, seagrass, citrus notes. In the heart, you've got guyac wood, cedar, chestnut blossom, and the base notes, you have salt and seawater. Mm. Very, very interesting notes. Mm -hmm. I've never seen chestnut blossom in a fragrance before. Yeah. Have you? No, never. No? No. What do you think? Did, to me, that I've ever heard of chestnut blossom before. To be honest, <laughs> do you like chestnuts? Um, you know, I've only ever had them once, and I don't remember what they were like. Well, you live in you live in France. Oh, are they're you there? everywhere. Yeah, no, no, they're there all the time. I'm just, I haven't been that adventurous to try them. I love chestnuts. Oh, okay, really, I have to really give it a love. chance. It's very European, though. Americans don't don't know. Okay, appreciate. confession time. My mom made chestnuts once, and I hated them. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I was very little. You know, I don't think I had a palate yet, and. Did yeah. you know that song, Chestnuts Roasting on, on an Open, open fire. fire? One of my favorite Christmas songs, <laughs> but not one of my favorite Christmas eats. Okay. So. <laughs> but going back to the fragrance, uh, it does have this nuttiness to it. Yes. Even though it's aquatic and it's green, there's something mm -hmm. nutty in there. Is that from the coumarin or I is that? Yeah, it's, it's the tonka. It's not listed here, but to me this is super coumarin forward, especially in the dry down. And when um, we're speaking about tonka or coumarin, it kind of has an almond-like quality, absolutely. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... The fragrance is all natural mm -hmm. and very, very long lasting. Yeah. And also read that the oil, if you have a beard, guys, you can actually use it to oh, put nice. on your beard. Yeah. So. And now that I'm looking at this, the coumarin could be coming from the clary sage too, because that's kind of a, a prominent player in clary sage. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spray it. I'll show you how it sprays. It's very oily. And as soon as you spray it, you get clary sage and the sea, sea grass, I yeah. guess, with citruses. And then guyac wood takes over, it becomes creamy. Mm -hmm. Cedar, and then chestnut blossom. I guess, I don't really know how chestnut blossom smells. Exactly what it's doing in here, yeah. 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 But perhaps the nuttiness comes from the chestnut blossom? Could be, yeah. Not sure. Not sure either. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more of that coumarin. Right. That's what it is to me, but I mean, for all I know, chestnut blossoms could be very coumarin heavy, right? Okay. So I'm just identifying it as like a single molecule. I really like, I feel like the oil, if you have dry skin, is super hydrating, which is really nice. And I get why you would want to put it on after a shower because it is a good way just to like retain that moisture mm. while smelling good. You know, I don't typically love aquatic fragrances. You do know that, right? Right. 
But here, I really like it. And it's also my palate is opening up to aquatic fragrances, mm -hmm. but it's very. I, I like the nutty factor about it, and I like the the green quality about it. Right. Well, I think with a lot of aquatic fragrances, they feel really synthetic. Okay. And this, when it th talks about aquatic, since this is an all natural fragrance, you're not talking about calone here. There's something here. I oh, think I it's, hate calone. Yeah, and I think that's so prominent in aquatic fragrances. But here, the aquatic is more from the seagrass because to me, aquatic and the actual beach never go hand in hand for me. This reminds me of the ocean. Oh. Yeah, and I think so here it's just more of a true, more back to nature type of aquatic. It smells actually really, really good. Yeah, no, it really does. It smells like nature. It does. Yeah. And without kind of the camphoraceous notes that you get from a lot of all natural fragrances, which can be really off putting, this is all very well blended. I don't know if it's the chestnut blossom, but it has all the, the good parts of an all natural fragrance while not smelling too earthy, a little too hippy dippy, mm -hmm. kind of. Um, it is a very refined fragrance for an all-natural fragrance. Uh, going back to the calone note, mm -hmm. sometimes fragrances use such an overdose of calone. Mm -hmm. When I put my nose to it, almost give it gives me like a gag reflex. Like, Makes sense. It's really, really strong. Because it's on a lot of things and you get hypersensitized to it. Almost. Really? Yeah. It happens with a lot of like individual um, molecules. Okay. Yeah. So this doesn't use uh, calone. We, no, no. If it's they not if they claim all natural, it, there's no way they'll be calone. So then they're getting the aquatic touches just from the seagrass. I think from the seagrasses and the sea citrus. Because a lot of um, aquatics, it's a lot of aldehydes. Citrus has a lot of aldehydes just naturally occurring in it. So I imagine that's where a big part of it comes from it. And yes, the seawater. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other thing I like about this uh, line is the presentation. The bottles are just really, really classy. Very simple. Oh, yeah. Frosted glass, 30 ml bottles, easy to carry. And I think it's a pretty good price point because even though they're a little on a high pricier side, you don't need a lot of sprays of this because, yes. especially the oil. I mean, they're both oily, as you can see. This is still has the oil on there, yeah. but you don't need a, only need a few sprays. And and that's another thing that is not common in all natural fragrances is usually they're very ephemeral. Naturals just don't have the longevity or the fixative effect of synthetics. Mm. So to have a long lasting natural is kind of rare, and it's it's exciting. Um, so it definitely has that going for it. Oh yeah. Do you pick up an olive note? I think that's what it is. There's an olive mm -hmm. oil note yes. in here. Yes, but it's good. It works well kind of like in um, slumber houses, pear and olive, which mm -hmm. I think might be discontinued. It's discontinued. But it's not something, you know, no one ever thinks, I want to smell like an olive, but it works really, really well in here. I've been wanting an olive fragrance oh, because I love the good. way olive oil smells. Yeah. Green and uh, mm -hmm. oily, balmy. Yes. And this has that. It's really, really beautiful. How, how did you narrow, narrow it down to the olive? All that is the training. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's some there's real olive? I don't know if it's that, but whatever. I think it's giving the impression of okay. that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What intentional or unintentional? The other cool thing is it comes in a, a box like this, and inside the box there's an actual little carry bag, and so the fragrance fits right in here, and you can take it on the go, mm -hmm. and the box fits like this. So the presentation is really, really yeah. awesome. Yeah. I think you're, you're paying for a quality there, like True. that. Yeah. So guys, if you don't know the brand Profumi Fluviali, check it out. Laria is their first fragrance. Again, there's two versions, the oil or the Extrait de Parfum concentration spray. Uh, two different prices, but very long lasting, all natural perfumes. Um, check them out. There's a website in the info box. Go there and find out more information about them. But in the meantime, you can participate in the giveaway. We have two bottles to give away. One in the oil, one in the Extrait de Parfum version. Mm -hmm. Subscribers of this channel from the USA, Canada, and the European Union. Uh, what should we have them do to participate? Ooh. Maybe either their favorite natural fragrance or their favorite aquatic fragrance. Maybe they can choose okay. either or. Yeah, either put down your favorite natural, all natural fragrance or put down your favorite aquatic fragrance. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, in addition to that, please let us know what you liked about this review and what you like about the idea of yeah. Laria. Mm -hmm. Guys, are you familiar with Profumi Fluviali Laria? Have you tried it? Are you curious to try it? If you have, 
tried it or are curious, put a comment down. Let us know why you want to try it. Also, guys, if you have any questions or comments for us, please list below. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.